More than 1,000 people are fighting COVID in Bexar County hospitals tonight, and that's the highest number that we've seen since early February. But their treatment looks much different now than it did a year ago. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Houston explains how the medicine has changed. COVID patients who check into the hospital and don't need oxygen often take a remdesivir IV. It was among the first drugs scientists approved to prevent moderate sickness from getting worse. It's not that it's going to cure uh, the COVID, but if given at the right time, it may decrease the viral uh, load enough to, to give you a benefit. It's not for patients who need lots of help breathing. They may get a steroid that can help keep the immune system from overreacting to COVID. Medical staff now try to keep those people off ventilators until they can't breathe at all. Instead, they'll use an oxygen system that assists with breathing. Machines that used to be uncommon outside the ICU. They are in um, the COVID wards and that allows us to take care of probably, you know, threefold or, or more, maybe not critically ill patients, but very, very sick patients. Infected people who do not yet need the hospital can now get an antibody injection. We want to give it to people who we've learned will could progress to a severe disease. So those are usually the elderly um, and those who have uh, certain conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, obesity. These treatments were largely unavailable this time last year. They're not perfect, but doctors say they might be enough to keep some people alive. Matt joins us live. Matt, what treatments are scientists still working on? Yeah, Aaron, some medicines work earlier on in an infection than others. Remdesivir is a great example. The problem is, if I were to test positive for COVID tonight, I can't just go over to a Walgreens and grab some remdesivir. It's only available as an IV drug that you get an injection with at a hospital. Scientists are working right now on making that in other forms, a topical, a pill, even an inhalable form, so that it can get into bodies a little bit faster. I'm Matt Houston, KINS 5 Eyewitness News.